Guinness World Records. When you hear someone's climbing Mount Everest in their shorts, you go, what? How's he doing that? Hoff set the Guinness World Record for the furthest swim under ice. How is he able to survive? He says it's easy. The water here would kill most people. Everybody is able to do this. People think I like the cold too much. I fucking hate him, man. He ran a full marathon in the desert without a single drop of water. People thought of me as a crazy man. The freak of nature. I'm just a simple guy. He claims he can teach his method. This was considered to be impossible. But behind his incredible ability hides a horrible secret. I lost the love of my life. And I told her, I warned her, don't do this. this it's not good. I couldn't reach her. Father of four kids, alone. It breaks your heart, and you don't know why. Hoff spent the next few decades breaking record after record. Is that why you started doing these things? So that people would pay attention? Until one day, Wim finally came face to face with death. Do you ever stop to wonder how that happened? I met my wife when I was 20, and she was beautiful. She was so extravert. She talked to everybody. She danced in the park. I called her a butterfly. It was the greatest time of my life. But a shadow came in our life. And that shadow grew larger and larger. And she was drifting away because the darkness took over. She could not live it no more. At two o'clock in the morning, she kissed her kids goodbye before jumping from eight stories down. Four children I had with my wife, and I was to be with her forever. She was the love of my life. It's a, it's a black hole within yourself. It breaks your heart and you don't know why, but the train of a daily life is going on. So I had to be there for my children. I cried over her body. Me and the father, we cried and cried and cried. I couldn't help her and I wanted to understand. I was suffering. I just wanted the answers to be healed. After years, uh, I found myself in the park in Sunday morning. Everybody's still uh, sleeping. And I uh, was, you know, pondering once again, like always. And I just felt this attraction to this thin layer of ice on the water. Went into the water. I fell. I fell deeply inside. It silenced me. And it made me feel really good. I didn't feel the cold whatsoever. I felt power. So the other day I came back. I did the same thing. I had the same feel. And I came back every day. That was the only time I was not thinking about my grief. And, and in that way I could take care of my four children. The cold is merciless. It brings you direct in the depth of yourself. You're not thinking. Your emotions stop. You are just surviving. And that makes you a free man. And from there, I challenged it. And at certain moments, I could sit all night long in the shorts outside in freezing temperatures. He's able to withstand extreme cold. This guy runs to the top of Everest in his underwear. He says it's easy. Experts are baffled. How is he able to survive? Wim Hof, the Iceman. For the past 20 years, he's been breaking countless endurance records from spending nearly two hours submerged in ice water to climbing past the death zone of Mount Everest barefoot, wearing nothing but shorts. He's surpassed what anyone thought the human body was capable of over and over. I became more famous as being the Iceman 
But that was not my goal. I was simply doing that as a discipline to get a hold over my agony. Deeply going inside. The day before the world record, swimming under the ice for a distance of 50 meters, I had to do the rehearsal. So I began to do my breathing. While I was doing this, I went into the water, slowly. Fully immersed up till here, holding the ice with my hands. You say to yourself, I take my last breath. Fully out. You go under and you begin your horizontal swim. You go, strokes, three, four, five. One meter of ice beyond me, icy cold water. I only count 11, 12, 13. Vision begins to blur. I had no goggles on, so my retina, it uh, froze after 35 meters. I couldn't see the hole anymore. I just w went on, yeah, instinctively yeah, going on, and uh, passed the, the hole. When I was at like 60 meters, 48 strokes, I got to go back six strokes. I'm going back, and uh, nothing. Going that way, six strokes, once again. It's just glass, the wall. At a certain moment, my vision became this much, physically. And then I began to slowly get into sleep. No pain, no agony. It was just shutting down. It was the love of my life. I couldn't help her. Help her. I was suffering. suffering. At that moment, a diver took me by the ankle, brought me back. I was semi-conscious. Once he got me out, my hat. <sighs> and there, at that moment, I had a peek into a fearless state of being. I lost a fear of death over there. Something deep had touched me, it silenced me. The fear and the idea of death is that we have no control anymore. The fear and the idea of death is that we have no control anymore. My wife, who took her life, she is still here. Our guardian angel that gave me wings to tear, go on, keep on believing. I couldn't help her, but I can help millions of people. I will show the world and all the people who are suffering how to get out of your grief, how to beat that what causes depression. I think uh, the universe has its ways. Maybe I was chosen to do that. And to help myself, that's one. But to help millions of others, that's a blessing. The real power is within your gut within your heart. What I was doing was impossible, but I was doing it. Everybody has this innate capacity, the power of our mind as a captain of the vessel. That's the way nature has built us to be. So let go of the thought that you are not able to do this.
You are able to do this. The best is yet to come.